Maxi Cozy Coral XP Infant Car Seat Rear Facing Vehicle Belt Without Base Installation This video is a guide to help make it easier to use your Coral XP Infant Car Seat. Please be sure to read the complete instruction manual and your vehicle owner's manual, which include important warnings and other information to make sure the seat is properly installed. Before using the Coral XP Infant Car Seat, make sure the harness is in the right position for your infant. First, remove the outer carrier from the base. From the back of the outer carrier, slide the base release handle up, then lift the outer carrier out of the base. Then remove the inner carrier from the outer carrier by squeezing one of the inner carrier release buttons, which are located at the front of the outer carrier. Lift the inner carrier out of the outer carrier. Next, you will adjust the shoulder harness to the correct shoulder harness slot height for your child. First, locate the harness release lever through the opening in the pad. Push and hold down on the harness release lever. Then pull both harness straps out together as shown. Now on the back, take off the harness strap loops from the metal splitter plate. Then from the front of the inner carrier, pull the harness straps out of the shoulder harness slots. Choose the correct shoulder harness position based on your infant's height. When installing rear facing, the shoulder harness height must be at or just below your infant's shoulders. Next, ensure that the pad and the shell slots are correctly aligned and re-thread the harness straps through the inner carrier seat back, pad, and shell, keeping the belt flat and untwisted. The sewn ends of the harness strap loops must face towards you. Reattach the harness strap loops to the splitter plate, making sure that they are all the way on. Place your infant in the seat and buckle the chest clip and buckle. Tighten the harness by pulling the harness adjustment strap on the front bottom of the seat. Position the chest clip so it's mid-chest, even with your infant's armpits, and away from the neck. Unfasten the harness covers, then try to vertically pinch the harness at your child's shoulder between your index finger and thumb to see if it is tight enough. If it is tight, you will not be able to pinch webbing between your thumb and index finger. If you can pinch webbing, pull a bit more on the harness adjustment strap on the front bottom of the car seat. Now install the inner carrier to the outer carrier. Pull up on the front two corners and the back of the inner carrier to make sure it is locked into the outer carrier. Place the outer carrier with the inner carrier installed in the back seat of your vehicle. Now check the level line. The level line on the side of the outer carrier must be parallel with the ground. Now pull the vehicle belt all the way out to switch the retractor and route the vehicle lap or lap portion of the lap shoulder belt through the belt guides on both sides of the outer carrier and buckle the vehicle belt. Now pull the shoulder belt or the free end of the lap belt to tighten. If your car has a switchable retractor, you may use it to lock the belt. To engage the switchable retractor, pull the vehicle belt all the way out to switch it to a locking mode. In this mode, the vehicle belt will tighten and will not loosen. Refer to your vehicle owner's manual for how to lock the seat belt for car seat installation. Check the belt tightness by holding the car seat only at the belt path, pushing and pulling from side to side. The base should not move more than one inch. If it moves more than one inch, you can try pulling the belt tighter, reinstalling the car seat, or changing to a different seating location. Finally, recheck the level line. Redo the installation if the level line is not parallel with the ground. The carry handle must be locked in position one or position two. Now the installation is finished.